We have seen, be it you talk about the Biden Sea Summit, uh, the Albanese Sea Meeting that we saw that there on some topics, particularly when it comes to trade and, and you know, mutually beneficial uh, aspects of the relationship, there has been some softening from Beijing. Will we see that when it comes to their dealings with the Europeans? Uh, I think Beijing is very obviously on a mission to improve its relationship, uh, be it with the U.S. and uh, with Europe this week when we have the president of the uh, EU Council, Charles Michel, the president of the EU Commission, Ursula von der Leyen, in Beijing today meeting uh, with Premier Li Qiang. Business will be top uh, of the priority list of things they want to discuss. There's the EU uh, investigation into subsidies that China gives its electric car makers, obviously. But I think overlaying all of that is the is the issue of Ukraine uh, and the war with Russia and China's uh, refusal to condemn Russia for the invasion, but also its continued support in various ways of Russia. And that that is ultimately uh, the issue that is causing the most disturbance in this relationship. And John, of course, we're still seeing the tensions play out between China and the West, right? I mean, we were expecting this pretty much, but Italy has now formally announced and told China that it would exit the Belt and Road Initiative. How significant is this? Uh, this is something that we've expected. Uh, Italy joined the Belt and Road, the only G7 country to do so back in 2019. And since then, we've had a, a pandemic. And, and again, we had the Russia invasion of Ukraine. And we also had a change in government in Italy. And since uh, Prime Minister Maloney has come into power, she has made it very obvious that she intends to uh, back take Italy out of this uh, Belt and Road Initiative. She's been trying to do it uh, without upsetting too many uh, people in Beijing, is uh, causing as much upsetness as she can. But it does seem that now Italy has finally taken that official uh, action to withdraw itself from the Belt and Road.